hi friends welcome to this video here we are going to see how to add and drop a column using alter table statement here we can see our existing table that is employee we will describe employees Here we can see our table employees uh, with the columns emp id, emp name, emp dob, emp salary and emp place. First of all we are going to see how to add a column, a new column into this existing table employees. Suppose we need one more column named emp pf uh, in this table employees. Uh, we will uh, see how to give that query to add this column. Sure is the query. We have to give a alter table then the table name its employees. Then we are going to add a new column. We have to specify the column name. Uh, it's mpf. Then we have to give the data type for this column. Uh, we will give a number of ten. Now we will execute this query. And here we can see the result table altered. Now we will run this query describe employees. And here we can see the result. Here we can see the new column what we added now mpf. And here we can see data type number and precision 10. Also we can give the query. Select star from table name employees and we will run this query. And here we can see our table. Uh, here we can see our uh, new uh, column we added to this uh, table. Uh, it's MPF. Here in this table, uh, we cannot see any data uh, for this column MPF. So we have to update uh, the data for this uh, column MPF. So next video we will see how to uh, update a table. Now we will go to the next alter statement that is how to drop a column from an existing table. Consider this table employees and here we want to remove this column uh, emp place. So we will see how to uh, remove this uh, column emp place using alter table statement. Here we can see the query. We have to give alter table and the table name that is employees and we are going to drop column then we have to specify the column name uh, we plan to uh, drop the column emp place now we will run this query And here we can see table altered. We will verify it. So coming to uh, this query, describe employees, we will run it. And here we can see uh, the structure of our table employees. And here we cannot see the column emp place because we dropped that column. Also we can execute this query. It's a select star from employees. And here we can see the output. Here we cannot see uh, the column uh, emp place. Well, in this video we have seen two things. How to add a new column and how to drop a column from an existing table. Friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.